where in Python you have two different options like uh, you can go on the like left hand side or the right hand side or you can say it like a statement which will execute your conditions only when it comes true right so you will be having options and you have to put on the conditions using the conditional operators and the relational operators okay so equals not equals greater and all those will be coming inside this conditional and we'll be looking on some sort of questions would be helping you through it okay uh, let me end the camera okay so in the very beginning like I, let me remind you the things you would be using the equals you be using not equals okay I'll be right here again. or even the sign you will be using equal equals to not equals to greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to and all this stuff okay so there are three type of row control statements in python the very first is called as if the next is your else and the third one is a combination of your if and else which calls elif okay and that is also you can say as like as someone which can go with the statement or like which which can um, go with the condition search for the conditions okay so that will be learning okay okay so unlike like in the if statement the very basic things i'm giving you example right this is a statement which execute only if your statement condition is true condition is true like if i say 100 is greater than 3 so this is a true statement or you can say until and unless the boolean conditions to what the output are it comes true you can say it has to be true right so until and unless this condition comes true we'll be having it as true one okay so what do you say that if statements are the statement which will execute only if the statement conditions are true all right so uh, let me write condition is there then you give a colon the way of writing I'm telling you okay and at last we write the starting or you can say the indentations okay so all these are there in the if statement okay so first you write a text expression a very first test expression is there and then your statements are there and accordingly the things are going to happen okay so if i take it for a very simple example so we're saying let, let's say a word which is equals to check out okay if i say if the word is equal equals to check out then give a colon right so what are the things if keyword is there then the condition is there like if this is equal sorry, if this is equals to this this is the condition right and the colon is there and then the indentation indentation is something like if i give the line numbers as soon as i click enter there should be one tab space 
okay or you can say five space bars okay so if word is equal equals to jacob print if statement worked correctly okay that's it the very simple thing the word i have set as jacob now if this word is equal equals to jacob print this is this work correctly that's it so i get the output obviously i'll get it that is if statement worked correctly just a minute Now, let's say if we do some of the examples for like number is positive or number is negative, searching of the things, right? So how do we say, like let's say n is equals to 45, a number is there. Now we'll say that if n is greater than 0, obviously print it is positive, right? That is positive. Now, what if it is not greater than 0? For that condition, you would be having another statement that is called as else now if it is not there it would be something else right so that is your else statement that is called is your else one okay so what we do is here else it works accordingly like with the same things right so x also else also execute the statements right but it not it doesn't check for the conditions like if we have written right that if executes only the conditions are true so else statement does not go for checking up your conditions it just go directly to print up your things okay so your else executes and it consists of your keyword your conditions sorry no, no conditions the colon and the indentation okay let us like here just here if i say that n is greater than zero print positive and if it is not greater than zero then we will be writing else there and just a colon and then print it is not positive then it is negative right so still till now it is positive right now there comes the another condition that if it is not greater than zero if it is not less than zero it can be equals to zero sometimes right so that condition there should be something another statement right that another if should be there like if it is not greater than zero then check that if it is equals to zero or not right so that should be also checked so for that we'll be using the elif statement which will be a kind of a second if statement or third if statement or number of times whatever you want to do for the statement for checking your conditions you'll be saying as elif so there we can use that with the elif and we can say elif if the n is equal equals to zero we'll be writing it as print zero that's it so now this time we can take an input of this into the number okay run this let's say number is uh, minus 70 and 89 whatever so it is negative obviously right if I run this as a zero so it is zero if I run this is positive number run this with a positive number it will be positive okay so that is a way of getting it there okay moving on these are the things right so this is how else works so positive number negative number and elif okay so elif i think is fine with everyone okay now we'll be learning in various ways like actually you would be learning in python if you want to find some things like prime numbers and all you would have to write a lot of things and then you can go with that right 
but there is libraries are we giving you that library is also like simply library you'd be learning okay how to represent things like if i say how many prime numbers are there between 0 to 1000 so how would you work it? 0 to 1000 if i want to print all the prime numbers between 0 to 1000 let's say 0 to 100 even right so how do i say let's say the starting number is equals to 0 and sorry sta is equals to 0 and sto is equals to 100 okay So what we want to see is just to find the range of things, right? So for that, we'll be using a module that is your SIMP, okay? And we'll be looking for, like if I say from SIMP, sorry, import SIMP as SP, okay? So I'll be looking as a print and then it would be a list of your SP dot prime numbers range, okay? What is this prime numbers? So I'll say it from the starting numbers to the stopping numbers and let's say print it if it could be there. Okay. So all these other prime numbers, what are the things? Okay. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, all these. Okay. Now this could be done in this uh, Python using the for loops and all that we'll be learning on later on. That's right. So modules and things makes a lot of things different. Okay. Okay. Now how this if and else works? Let's see. Uh, let's see some sort of questions and we'll be learning it. Okay. So very first one would be like check the the integer. Okay, now let's say n1 has to be the first number. Okay. Now, how will we be checking the divisibility, right? So, if my n1 when gets divided by n2 leaves the remainder as 0, right? Then we would be writing it there. n1 is divisible by this should be this. And right this would be there okay next would be using the lf so lf will be having that if n1 when divided by n2 becomes equals to 0 sorry n2 would be there first one. zero then we'll be printing same thing in the second time and at last else will be used so see in else you don't write any conditions and all you just printed the things okay so we'll be writing the same thing it's not divisible by n2 okay so we'll be looking on the things okay so like let's run this we'll be looking first number let's say 30 next is your 60 so 60 is divisible by 30 okay all right now uh, there could be questions like check whether a number is odd or even right that would be very easy again you can use if things and you can put it there with very easy let's say the number you are you want to check would be Okay, so 
So if your number when divided by 2 becomes equals to 0, it will be printing even. Else, that's it. So this does not have any LF conditions, right? Not. That's it. 5 or 3 or 2 even, 0 even, minus 3 odd. Okay? Like these things. I hope this would be clear. For any doubts, you can write in the chat. Now programs could be for finding a leap year or not, right? Uh, these questions are also given in your assignments if you go through like that things, okay? And see, for the beginning, like things would be when you are using any uploadations in your files, you are using if statement, right? For that, okay? Someone's asking, so what does simply means? Um, that is a module basically and is used for uh, writing your mathematics symbols here in the python okay so symbolic computation you can say on that is a thing okay like if you are writing something for an equation uh, you can write it like if i say a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2a b very simple equation right so you want to represent it like when you are making projects sometime you have to use formulas that is basically for machine learning experience and data science, right? So they use formulas. So which formulas they are using, you have to represent their print over there, right? So that for that we use simply, and it makes the thing uh, very simple actually. If you if you go for uh, calculating the things like in symbolic forms, right? In numerical forms, if you want, you can use NumPy and SciP. And in symbolic, you can use simply, right? So let me show you an example. If I write, something like this okay. like when you are representing something or in the terms of differentiations integrations right if I say like an equation over there derivative of a constant okay the derivative of C is equals to zero. That okay? The derivative of c with respect to x is equals to zero. Any constant or integration of something, whatever. I hope you would have understood what exactly it is. Right. So you can solve questions like immediately. Very simple things. But like if there is an expression, like let's say e x is equals to an expression x square plus 2x plus 1 right so ex looks something like this x square plus 2x plus 1 now if you go for finding like integration of this or differentiation of it would be 2x plus x hmm? i say 
differentiate this ex. Sorry, x would be 2. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so it would be 2x plus 2. Right? So you can again differentiate the things. You're finding 2 over there. Hmm? So double differentiations, 3 times, partial differentiations, a lot of things are there. Integration if you want, so you can just say integrate the things. It will learning all these things, right? This is not included in your course, but there are a lot of things which are not given up there. So integration would be x squared plus by 3 plus x squared plus x like all this thing. So these are modules basically. There are a lot of modules. You will be learning math modules. You will be learning random modules. Just uh, I'll be giving you basic ideas of simply module. You'll be learning pandas. Okay, a lot of things are there. And today also, like after half an hour, uh, 23 has been passed also. So like if, if as soon as we complete the F1, you will be having a small test. Okay, if it is not uh, okay with you for today, then you will be having it tomorrow, right? Small one, till the conditions. Okay, all right, let's go with things. Okay. So I was there like when you are uploading over things, something like that. Okay, so is it clear to you, someone who asked what does simply means? Is there Abhishyam? I hope it would be clear to you. So, coming to the operations and all, okay. Let's say you want to upload some documents. Let's have a format of PDF, let's have a format of DOCX, let's have a format of HTM, okay, all these things. These formats are there in your document, right? You, you have to upload from document of these formats, PDF, DOCX and HTM. Now you have a user upload there. And where the user would be entering your file name. Okay. Now see. So you have to check whatever the file name would be there with extension you would be saying, right? With extensions. So let's say if I have a file name is something random dot HTML. Right? So if I check my user upload, so I get random.html. Now, if you remember, we have learned something. PGM, just a second, we have a very indentation error in PGM how to solve. Where are you are getting? Uh, do one thing. Take a snap of that error, post it in the group, I'll check it in the WhatsApp and we'll let you know. Send in WhatsApp in the group, I'll see it there. Yeah, somewhere I was random HTML. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So HTML is not in my formats, like of the documents when you are uploading the things. So that I need to check it right from where this HTML is coming. Okay. So that could be done using indexing and all. So indexing another thing, but there is something again the use of conditions. So how would we be looking up? That if and the operators of membership operators, right? So if the user upload, these kind of program always take inputs using a split. That will be learning in a uh, split method with the strings, 
when we will be learning the strings okay so if the user of the negative one that means the last thing if i let you know that what is the user upload now it would be something different now it is a file name and then the extension name see so i have splitted the term of random.html with this dot so one part is random and one part is html now user upload is random and html now i will check whether this the extension is there in my document or not so i can easily do that if the user upload of the last element that is minus 1 is equal equals to or if this user el uh, element of the negative one the last one lies in the document formats then would we'll be printing file uploaded successfully or else we'll be just printing the error right so we'll be printing extension error or you can say file error Yeah, like this we'll run this okay so we see a file error there can okay, you see this right okay by the way you haven't given the question let me see just a minute in the box yeah no questions are there post it i'll check it there So this is how and sometimes now when you log in on some areas like if you're working uh, if you're logging in uh, yahoo domains google domains any any of the websites right so what they have they have a username they have a password right this pass is something else okay this is of no use actually that keyboard now so let's say if your email i'm taking for the email right so let's say your email is something like if I write my one, okay. Now, sorry. Hmm. Now if I want to check my username, so how will I do again the same things if the email or I need to print it just so what I'll do is print the email dot split with at the rate so I'll be getting my username and then after splitting print the first one first one always comes with a zero so this is my username and which domain I'm using gmail.com okay so split actually works with a lot of things right so if you want to know exactly the working of the split we can do using the help function of str dot split so you see it basically returns you a list of words in a string using separator or a delimiter string okay so you can find and the maximum number of splits 
to do is negative one that is default value means no limit is there okay so you can do number of splittings you want Okay, so I hope this is clear. So any doubts and if and else statement, if you have, you can ask it. You have also be given assignments to go with, right? So you can easily go with the things. Okay, yeah, so I was telling something about the test. Just a minute. Loops are the different thing. Let me open and write. okay so yeah this is your test questions okay you can give it today also you can give it tomorrow also it depends on you what you want tomorrow actually you give it tomorrow today you go with the things with the if things and then these are the questions okay so you can go with this At most 10 to 15 questions are there you can easily do it okay and random again I'll let you know how it works so you need to import the random and mostly like if, if it asks in the questions to generate a pin code or something like that you would have to give it ranges right so you can use random dot or and range and like if you have been asked to enter something with a lot of number of digits right if it is like 15 digit code you'll be entering some 9 then 1 2 3 4 5 make 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 digit number is there again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 15 digit right so you get a number between there for 15 digit and that could be a code okay so these type of questions would be there all right so i hope it would be better like for you those things are easier there okay and for individual topics you would be given some more assignments right so to go through with that things that will be given to you later on but okay so individual topics also have some questions like if i share this like conditions and branching branching i think we don't have in this course but things are there okay branching is nothing like this okay so defining things printing there and all these things comparisons so like this things will be there in a short things like comparison operations find the value of i that produces a true result right so i is equal to something i is greater than 100 okay so what would be the value of i when it produces a true result or we'll find the value of x that prints the statement this is a so what will be the value of x and find the value of y that produces a true statement another using the logical operators too okay like that and you have also learnt the uh, programs like writing your first programs and all 
with the basic things right like hello world how to write hello world and how to run the things okay and comment and all okay so these would be shared to you actually so i'll be sharing all these things and you need to uh, how many of you have submitted some assignments it three classes we have done like four four or five something so how many assignments you have completed till now conditions would be left and right because conditions you would have to start today type casting we have done Casting this into an integer then to a boolean. Alright, so uh, 